so I'm here at the Holiday Inn Express. Um, come down this hallway, and I am in room 1904, which faces the street. And I have to say, you know, tight, but comfortable, but enough space, right? Because I've been in somewhere. Huh. Got a bit of space. Oh, and I like this. This is I take my as my sister does when she does her home, she goes to hotels and takes ideas. It's not a bad idea. And that's actually about as much space as I have in my current home in terms of bed to the wall in the front. So there actually could be a desk. But it's about how this is a good, well recessed back. Yeah, it's about the space of, so I could actually put a little desk there if I wanted to. Anyway, so this is it. This is room 1904 and I locked in because I arrived at, um, cause my flight was early this morning, uh, 7.55, arrived here around 9.30ish. I was in Manhattan a little after 10 cause the train was right there. And, um, <sighs> Yeah, literally the Sky Train from at, at Newark right to the train station, and then train station was right there just as I arrived. And literally I was in New York within like a half hour. So yeah, I walked to my hotel. I think it took me a little bit of time. You remember me, box boat, box boat. And um, a few stops along the way and made my way here. And then I was sitting sort of in the lobby, just charging my phone and catching up on some emails and some making some phone calls. And then the, one of the guys said, hey, you know, you're checking in, right? I said, yeah. And he says, well, let me see if I can, you know, rather than you sitting here, you know, why don't I see if I can find um, a room that's ready for you? And because it's checking slot till three. And it's literally just afternoon, just after midday. And, you know, he's like, yeah, let me see. And he found me this 1904, right? So, and it's worth it when you come, you know, though your check-in is three, sometimes they just don't because other people have also come before you or they're still just cleaning up the rooms. And also some people are doing late check-ins and various things like that. But it's worth asking because on occasion you can get it. And so I didn't even ask because <laughs> I was prepared to go on the street and run around. So I figured I'd just charge a little bit, do some calls and emails and then head out. But then he said, hey, I can get you into a room and that way you can settle in, maybe do what you're doing here in your room and be more comfortable. So very personable, you know? Oh, went above and beyond service. Um, yeah, Love, appreciate it, you know. And, and let me just say this. I mean, his brother was also of East, East Asian man. And on occasion, like with all different kinds of groups of people, including my own black people, I have experienced where I just go, oh. of course, with my own black people, because I'm black, I tend to, okay. But, you know, with others, white people, oh, there's racism brown and east you know south and east i get you know or latino oh god latinos oh i get triggered they don't say you're dominican because i get even more triggered but then i'll have an experience with those very same people where it totally is like well that's not what happened here in fact they went above and beyond so life is, so it's interesting right because i just had a, another experience actually on the plane i had this experience with this um uh, you know, interesting of an East Asian man who was an attendant who I felt was giving me a really differential treatment um, for various reasons. And, you know, the energy didn't feel good at all. And then now I have this. So it's an, you know, so it just knocks any kind of place I might want to go out of the water because, yeah, yeah. So I just had to, you know, sometimes I don't give all that detail, but... I just want to acknowledge how sometimes this stuff can mess with your brain in terms of just human relationships and interactions. But anyway, so here's the room. Dear God, can I just focus on one thing? I love your little thing for your, uh, your suitcase. It's, oh, I'm going to say it could be wider, but it's fine. And a TV, but a tonianic, oh, a little coffee thing for ice. The only thing they don't have is they don't have a fridge, but I didn't know that when I was booking, I didn't check. And I was like, okay. I mean, it's good to have a fridge just because then you can buy stuff in store. But because I'm only here for a few days, anything I buy, you know, they do have a microwave, microwaves available. So if I, I think anything can last for a day at least, which is probably or overnight if I was going to do anything. So yeah, uh, and then there's ice, right? So you can get ice. Um, and most things, it's more heat that I'd need, eh? And here's a view, not, you know, much of a view, but I like that it's um, not unpleasant because sometimes you're facing a wall or you're right over some fans. Those are at least a distance away. 
Um, and yeah, and you get some sky. Uh, and a few odd buildings here and there. You know where the people them around us look fun. I think they look over in the garden next door, but that's that's all right. Yeah, and there it is, a little yellow cab going by. Yeah, so that is 26th Street that we're looking at because we're at 125, 26th Street, 125th, 26th Street. Yeah, so, all right, here we are. Then I guess I can pull this down later and, um, you know, Oh, oh, and there's an extra one too. All right. Okay, multiple things go up. Wanna go up back? And I need anything right now. And then that comes across. So nice blackout curtains. And then here you can hang. I guess you can hang stuff, which is cool. Again, ideas for home. Because you know I have a much smaller place that I'm living in now. So hey, that could be something in the bedroom actually, or maybe even in the hallway. Because there's a wall there I'm thinking about. And I like that idea of something that's got a little bit more interest than just stick to sitting upon the wall. So I like that idea of maybe even doing an art piece underneath it. Hmm. And then, can do my. No, I don't want heat. Cool. So mode is cool. And then, all right. And then here is the bathroom which is a bit tight, right? Because as soon as you open the door, oh, it's right there. I tell you this is very low. Unlike me, need high toilet. I have to say one thing I appreciate about my new condo is that, or the condo I just got was that the toilet, I mean, I'm not my, it's not my favorite, but the height of it is excellent. Like, it's like, which way, you know, where's that is you have to go all the way down to get back up. Oh good, oh wonderful, because I like one of those, I hate that, because it, okay, excellent. Because the ones that's only half, the water always spills all over the floor. So, that's good, lots of good towels. And I panicked because I saw only these towels, and then I saw this towel, this is something, well this I guess is the thing done for the floor. Oh, we have Dove products. Okay, Dove. But then, I was happy, because I was like, where's my washcloth? Here's my wash, and for all those people who don't use washcloths, I don't understand y'all. See, I have a bunch, some enough use it multiple times. I just use one, because I'm here for three nights. Okay, you people who don't understand washcloths, may you reuse, like, please. And they think it's nasty, and we think you who don't use washcloths are nasty. So, yeah, a little thing to hang here. I mean, it's, you know, if you had your share with somebody, you actually can shut the door. And it is a nice size to move around in. Yeah. Even two people could be here easily. And there's a hair dryer. It's got everything you need. It's not the Soho house, but it'll do. And I love the bed. Bed looks good. Is that a king? I think I booked a queen. No, I think they had king, but I think I booked a queen. But could that be a king? Maybe it might be. No, I mean, I think so. No, but well, it could. Actually, it could be, I think. What do you think it is? Anyway, lovely. Lovely. My worry was going to be like, you know, because I saw some stuff online and I didn't, it didn't look pretty, but this is a lovely room. I think what sometimes happens in hotels is that they're actually modernizing the rooms. So there's some like this they've probably done it, and others that they're working that's not gotten to yet. So yeah. All right. And you saw the lobby when I arrived. So I'm gonna save my battery and save my space. And here we go. All right. Good morning. I gotta run road now. You know, 